guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting a different chapter. We're going to be reading Peter Pickup. Well, you might have guessed from the picture what this is about. Yes, this is about a boy that picks his nose. So let's find out more. Peter Pickup. Some children like to blow their noses. Some like to pick. Peter was a picker. The boy always had a finger up his nose, sometimes two, one in each nostril. They buried treasure he was searching for the purest green snot. Although he was short for his age, Peter Picker could pick an extensive and seamlessly ending supply of it. Runny snot, gloopy snot, hard snot, snot balls, not icicles. He was the lord of all that was green and slimy. After picking a boy, would give his latest morsel of snot a quick inspection and then add it to his ball of bogies. He had read in a book of world records that the biggest ever bogey record was produced by a rather hefty German girl named Fräulein Schellermin. Hers was the size of a cannonball and weighed much as a medium pig. Although only 12, Fräulein Schellermin already had a number of unsavoury world records. The girl had produced the biggest block of earwax, which was the size of an ice cream tub. Next, she was responsible for the world's largest shower of dandruff, managing to completely cover a football pitch just by untying her pigtails. The world record Fräulein Schellermin was proudest of, however, was the one for the smelliest foot cheese. When she took off her steel toe capped boots, the stench flattened every tree within a 10 mile radius. Ugh. Propelled by the idea that he could earn a place in the book of world records, Peter Picker set out attempting to smash his rival effort. He was determined to produce the bogey to end all bogeys. So, our story begins. All Peter Picker wanted was to craft a gargaton ball of snot. He started with just one ordinary medium-sized bogey. However, once he'd stuck bogey after bogey to it, it became a super bogey. Then a mega bogey. Finally, it progressed into an ultra bogey. Now, every time the boy picked his nose, which was at least once every few seconds, he added it to it. When Peter started, it was just the size of a pea. But with each new green double it grew so it was the size of a conker then a melon then a football then a snowman the boy became so focused on entering the record books that he often bumped up school so he could spend all day picking his nose at first peter was unable to carry this ball of snot around with him when it became too big and heavy the boy simply rolled it along the street However, one morning on the way to school, Peter accidentally ran over the neighbour's cat, Ginger, and the poor creature had become embedded in the snot ball. Meow! The bogey was sticky. Peter had to shave the cat's hair off to remove it. Meow! Now the boy kept the sphere of snot safe in his bedroom. By the time of this story, the smear of snot, or snot smear for short, was the size of an asteroid. It looked like it had come from outer space. A kaleidoscope of green, light green, dark green, 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 not so green. So what's going to happen next to the snot ball? Well, watch Wednesday's video and you will find out. Anyway, bye for now.